welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and get into your reading before we do. If you want to see the extended version of this reading, make sure that you check out the information listed in the description. Also, right up under that, I will have the Linktree link where you guys can find me on pretty much any social media. My website link is listed in that Linktree uh, link as well. So, yeah, all the information will be below. But let's go ahead and get into the reading itself. When I was meditating on your energy, I kept hearing bad karma. Now, I don't necessarily see this as bad karma for you. I just see bad karma where things are imbalance so this could mean that somebody has done you wrong and they're about to get their fair share of karma this could be also instantaneous karma it's like this karma feels like it, it returns back to the sender or the person who may have like wronged you or shoot if you guys may have wronged somebody or didn't something that's kind of off and shady then that may kind of come back pretty quickly but it's saying like instant bad karma okay um now this could also have a lot to do with being careful of people that you invite back into your life because that may be a sense of bad karma all right where that person may have been a karmic and you accepting this person back into your life may be the very thing that kind of like sets your life back as a whole so be careful of who you do let back into your energy um okay somebody is being very malicious when it comes to the courts this could be somebody who you have a custody battle with um somebody who you're not really getting along with uh business wise and they could be trying to take you to court to kind of sue you uh this could be an incident that comes up and then it's like the the law is not on your side you could be like in the store or something like that and then um they accuse you of something and then it's like the law is not on your side i'm seeing like a weird incident or something with the law or something with like a lawsuit or um something legal some of you could be wanting to like choose a different lawyer on like some sort of case because you feel like they're not really doing their job or they're not really taking things seriously now beyond all that legal stuff and all that other stuff another thing i was like hearing when i was meditating is the answers that you seek will be revealed and i think that right now what needs to happen is you really need to trust your intuition when it comes to things that you're feeling um not in the sense of you just going off the wall and just deciding to make like very crucial decisions in the midst of you having like intuitive feelings but if this has anything to do with like people places or things that you've been noticing like shady stuff going on those answers will be uh, will be revealed to you and then make your move Hmm. Okay, you could be feeling, yeah, because I'm getting this energy of you feeling like you're unsure about somebody. You're unsure about their intentions, what their desires are for like wanting to be with you or um, still wanting to make a relationship work. Like you wondering whether or not that's a good idea, those answers would be those answers will be revealed you will know if you can trust this person especially if there has been issues with infidelity or lies in the past so let's go ahead and flip the camera and get more in depth and see what else is kind of going on pisces let's go ahead and look at the overlying energy for you okay that was way too many cards Alrighty. so we have the magician okay so with the magician showing up this is about clearing house in order for your manifestations to kind of uh come to fruition a lot of times people try to manifest and clutter energy and the worst thing you could do is try to manifest things out of the energy of scarcity all right never wait until your back is against the wall to be like well now i want this now i want that because you're literally going to be manifesting from lack. So spirit is like calling you to clear out literally your space. Some of you could be deciding to change up the feng shui of your home or clear out clutter. 
okay spring cleaning in winter okay this feels like needing to start fresh start start clear of all old things um also this could be you guys getting more so into like magic whether this is like magic geared towards prosperity magic geared towards finding new love some of you are kind of like getting into that you really do need to take your time and make sure you really understand what you're doing and that you understand the proper steps and what you're doing so that you don't uh manifest some things that you you're not trying to manifest okay you just got to be careful with that but we have adjacent possibilities and yeah this is a clear indication that where you may be feeling like there are certain doors that are shutting your face there's other doors that may open up for you that you may not either be seeing right now or um you need to make sure that you're not so opposed from because you have like this idea of how things should go all right so this could be for instance like a job you could specifically want a, a job at this place but it doesn't really happen and spirit opens up a door for you to get a job somewhere else and because it's not exactly how you envisioned it you could you know turn away a blessing or altogether kind of deny yourself of even exploring other blessings because of the fact that you like I said have certain things kind of built up in your head okay spirit is saying there's alternative options Okay, we have financial constraints. So this is kind of going into saving money. Some of you have been saving, saving, saving. I mean, not saving. Excuse me. Um, some of you have been actually saving, but some of you have been spending. You may have had to kind of dip into your savings account to pay for things. Um, or like you find yourself like having to kind of catch up to certain expenses like credit card bills and things like that. So Spirit is saying um, find some sort of system that works for you that allows you to keep more of your money. And Spirit is also kind of leading me to say like with any like addictions whether that's food addictions smoking addictions drinking addictions it's like making sure you're kind of cutting back on spending too much money on that um i would even go into your bank account and see like what's the biggest expense or what's most of your money going to and looking at like if it's a reasonable amount to be spending on whatever it is you know you might go in there you may see that you're spending two thousand dollars on uh uber eats <laughs> And you may need to start getting into cooking or, you know, eating out every day. All right, we have the door to romance. So for a lot of my Pisces, um, a lot of you are in a space to where you're like trying to open up to new love. Um, you could be in a space where you're not all the way over certain experiences that you've gone through and you may not even all the way be over a particular person. But a lot of you are trying to be open to newness, to take your mind off of someone else. Let's just be honest. Okay. So we have the Ace of Wands, the Empress the king of cups as well as the king of swords you may be feeling like somebody is wifey material husband material something that they're doing their maturity level their energy it just seems like there's somebody who you're really compatible with or there's somebody who really understands you and can help you even elevate when it comes to the way that you handle things this person may handle things so well that you kind of like get rubbed off on or like this person rubs off on you excuse me um okay so i also see like more so a sexual connection that kind of turns into something more serious this could be serious in the sense of like somebody gets pregnant when they're not supposed to I do see that so be careful with that um or like serious in terms of again like there being a, a serious connection that's like developing from it just being initially like sexual or like flirty 
This could be with another water sign or like an air sign. I also have like Taurus, uh, Capricorn like energy as well. Um, there may be some sort of new project, new creative endeavor, new focus here that really could bring you some money if you put action behind um, your plans. Uh, what I will say is make sure you're not letting like emotional moments or even like you getting caught up in like illusions and things like that get you out of your element and throw you off completely in terms of a plan. Okay. But I want to finish this off on the other side. If you want to see the rest of this, definitely make sure that you check the link in the description for my Patreon. And I will see you over there.